Well, hey, I'm Junior, and welcome to my channel. So today, I want to review a pedal that was sent to me by a manufacturer by the name of Learway. And they kind of, they found me through some of my mountain bike videos and asked me to do a quick review of this pedal. And uh, as you can see by the pedal, it's, uh, it's a good looking pedal. It's a very slim design, it's slightly smaller. So I would maybe consider this a street pedal, but I wouldn't hesitate a minute to put it on a mountain bike. I'm certainly going to continue to run this pedal. I, it performed very, very well. But I looked up the price of this pedal and for the money, I think it's under 40 bucks. Uh, I would definitely buy these things before they realize they are underpriced. This pedal should be a, above the $50 mark. I really think this pedal is ultra lightweight, about 142 grams per pedal, um, a re, uh, rebuildable pins or replaceable pins, and the bearings are ultra smooth. They're definitely sealed, so no dust or grit or water, mud, and so forth is going to get inside these pedals. Um, you can't even feel these bearings. They're ultra, ultra smooth. I think the aluminum uh, machining that they did is crazy good. They're definitely durable. I pounded them pretty good. I, I jumped off of uh, a couple of jumps and I, I did a, a couple of drops. We, we played on some stair steps. I, uh, I pounded a rock. I, I took a good rock strike with these things and they definitely survived. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with these things. Uh, so I, I do think for the size that they are, they're probably more geared towards uh, maybe road riding or just uh, sort of in you know, light enduro, maybe some, uh, some light trail or uh, some dirt road running. But if they can build a sharper pin and a little bit uh, wider platform for my foot, then uh, I'm definitely going to run these on some of my downhill bikes and I'm going to run them on my extreme enduro riding that I like to do. Um, I did give my, give my son a chance uh, to ride the bike. He's in front of me in one of the videos um, and he's playing around with them and he really enjoyed them. He, he, just, he also noticed that they didn't stick to his shoe as well as say the ones that have threaded pins instead of the hexagon pins that uh, Literway uses. But the value is amazing uh, for what you get. It's a, a well-designed pedal. It's very, very durable. And it's under 40 bucks, uh, not just 50 bucks. So I, I really felt like this pedal should be in the $55, $59 range. Um, I've used a lot of pedals. I probably have about 10 sets of pedals that I switch back and forth through my bikes. And this pedal uh, uh, definitely stacked up against those. Um, and I didn't feel any uh, any flex. I have had situations where I have felt some pedals kind of give just a little bit and have some flex and I, I really don't like that. I want a good solid platform when I'm going to take drops and stuff like that. So, But uh, pound for pound, Learway makes an amazing pedal for the money. I can't wait to see what they come out with on the mountain biking side if they uh, make a wider platform and some sharper pins, maybe put a, put a few extra pins uh, in those pedals. So there you have it. I wanted to give a quick video to uh, what I liked and uh, kind of what I didn't like. Uh, there wasn't a lot that I didn't like about these pedals and they're freaking good looking pedals too by the way. So I, I can't wait to see what they come out with but give Learway a look. I think you'll really like them. There's a link to their Amazon uh, store with these pedals in it uh, and in the description. So do enjoy if you got any questions post them here and uh, I'm sure Learway and myself will be paying attention and we'll, we'll definitely get you some answers to that. Have a great day and thanks for pressing play.